Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. I'm Jacqueline Allen with the latest from Denver 7. One suspect is now in custody after reportedly shooting two officers in Denver. Both of those officers are in fair condition, expected to be okay. This is video of the home the suspect barricaded himself in along 6th and Inca up in flames. We do not know what started this fire, but we believe the suspect was loaded into a stretcher shortly after the flames were put out. We are working to learn more about the suspect and why this went down. And looking ahead, the Park County Sheriff's Office is giving an update tomorrow in the murder of a 17-year-old Bailey girl. Maggie Long was found dead in her family's burned out house back in 2017. Park County investigators say a thief specifically targeted the house, but Maggie was not the original target. That thief has still not been arrested. Here's a reminder to never leave your car running with the keys inside. Puffer Week is now underway in Colorado. It's an annual week put on by Coloradans against car theft and auto theft investigators. When the temperatures drop and the snow comes, it may be tempting to start your car and warm it up, but, but police say more than 19,000 cars were stolen last year in Colorado, so don't become a statistic. And from the First Alert Weather Center, here is meteorologist Stacy Donson with a look at your First Alert forecast. That's right, very cold air. Speaking of uh, puffer week, we have very cold air moving in for the next few days. Temperatures only in the 20s tomorrow. We'll have snow overnight tonight, affecting your morning commute tomorrow uh, with this cold front. Tuesday, we'll have highs in the mid 30s, but notice those overnight lows in the single digits. We'll be in the 30s through Wednesday. More sunshine Thursday and Friday as we come out of the deep freeze and we warm it back up into the 40s for highs. All right, thanks, Stacy. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thank you for joining us. Check back here later tonight for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Jacqueline Allen.